Hello everyone. So InfoSense Labs uh, like to help you understanding Tableau's layout containers as well as we would like to provide here um, template which helps you to actually you can just simply drag and drop your sheets views in, in given template so that you will get the beautiful dashboard that's that's what the plan uh, let's see so guys uh, let's start with it so this is the template that we would like to discuss so today I would like to show you many of us problem is while we design dashboards we are actually facing a problem when it is going to be viewed on different uh, pixel rate or I mean different resolution so it's not going to be look good so say example if i built an uh, uh, mac pro uh, resolution and it's going to be a different on a monitor uh, a tv if because in uh, executive level decision makers they won't see sometimes they want to see it in a big monitor so these dashboards which we built using mac or a uh, small resolution won't be fit to the big resolution big monitor um, uh, screens so here uh, many pe people are facing that problem i would like to suggest them uh, an idea here so i would recommend you guys to use first so anyways i'll show you first let me explain the template that i would like to provide you uh, free you can download this template uh, just uh, below the article so here i have created a dashboard which is uh, i can i can say it's a execu executable navigation dashboard so from here uh, uh, decision makers move their um, if they want to see about human resource and dashboard one they can click on here and they can see they come to this dashboard got it so here actually i would like to uh, provide you um, how i'm gonna uh, fit one dashboard that default which which fit to the any screen any size of the screen irrespective regardless of the size of the screen and coming to the tablet uh, which fit to the any tablet so see here the logo and this is all the back forward and forward buttons so that i can move from here to next that's i'm um, from here to here the forward and this is a uh, back forward and coming to the phone see here how it is it was fit to the uh, phone so today i would like to give you a brief about how we're gonna get these things done so first let me brief you the exact context behind this dashboard i want a uh, top level executives navigate their dashboards from here so we will put all the dashboards here so this is the template uh, when i share these templates with you you need not to change anything here you just go here and just double click and change the name that you want and change the logo you want and just click here and go to the this sheet where you can change the name that you want to change and and then i'll show you the how we can make the um, actions when i click on dashboard one it has to move to dashboard one and everything is going to be set here for example see here the tablet look is this is how it looks the phone this is how it is going to look everything is a block so you just need to go to here any sheet that you want to go this this is a blank so you can't uh, go to this place but if you select this uh, you can go to the sheet and you can change the things here so hope you understand this uh, executable dashboard navigation so you can use this for your companies and then coming to the next dashboard one first let me make the action so go to the dashboards uh, where you just click on the actions i'm just showing a couple of actions and i'm leaving it to you you have to make the all the actions so it won't consume a lot of time here 
So add actions where just select the filter and uh, let's call it action one at navigation. So here we are at uh, dashboard navigations. Let me show you. Um, the name is uh, sorry. And let's say here, uh, let's select. Uh, we have, we are on dashboard navigation. Uh, just click on select, and you are able to see here yeah, let's uh, let's create actions. Uh, just I changed a couple of names. I don't want them to be displayed or that. So um, we are now, for, we just click on actions. We can see here, let's name it uh, action one navigation. So I would like to select the dash one. Dash one is nothing but um, this one, this, this block. So if user select the dash one, so I would like this navigate me to uh, dashboard one that's here got it so just uncheck them so there might be a probability a chance that if you keep select all the all the sheets when you are creating navigation under these dashboards it's overlap and you won't get the desired output so I would recommend you to uncheck all these other sheets under the dashboards our target is to just reach dashboard one not the these sheets so i would recommend you to uncheck them just click on okay and then we just create it just click on okay now see here um, just click here so that now we are on the dashboard one so get it so here we are So uh, I want you to create the similar kind of actions for dashboard two and dashboard three. This is just a template which I'm giving to you. And then coming to the again back, um, this template uh, can be converted into the tablet and phone. So it's predefined that any, uh, so since we are using automatic, um, here it is an automatic, I, I didn't select it any fixed. Fixed size. If you select, if you select the fixed size, the, the the problem is, it's gonna fit within that size. It's not going to be expand based on the screen size. So that's a problem. When you see the same dashboard in a bigger screens, so it's going to be awkward or it's going to be clumsy or it's going to be very small. So I would recommend you if you actually anticipating more screen sizes across the levels in in the organization for example some people may look at smartphones some some people may look at the dashboard in tablets some people may look at dashboards and the tv screens so i would recommend you to go with uh, automatic uh, all the way if you see that that case if you are not anticipating that case then you can go with the fixed size i would recommend that one so here in the automatic uh, so we can have this design and this support tablet and phone and you can keep the cha change you can change the things that you want here the way you want and let's move to the dashboard one see here my uh, a strong recommendation is when you're using automatic I want you to fix to the specific design. You can't keep the as many as sheets here. 
that spoil the beauty of dashboard so i would recommend you guys not go with the many sheets or many views in the dashboard so i have uh, i have provided here a couple of dashboards uh, templates so maximum you can keep your five scorecards is more than enough and then one major view you think that that has to capture most of the eyeballs so, so we keep the major view here and then less filters and legends and any shapes or interactive tools that you want to keep you can keep the right side and then two small views that actually get impacted by this view so this is the major view these are the scorecards and these are the interactive tools which impact this and this view and as well as this view and when we applied view as a filter when people click on this filter uh, this view this view should impact these views these two views so that's how we can actually in this at the level of automatic size we can actually build beautiful dashboards let's move on to the next uh, thing say example see here tablet so here the same even tablet can have the same kind of wave so it won't disturb much and coming to the phone I have replaced just instead five I would like to have a only four scorecards and you can reduce even these four scorecards into the two so don't keep uh, many scorecards or many views in the uh, smartphone view because we are saving the phone and tablet everything in a different mode so you need not worry about whatever you are able to see here in the default view it it's it can be here in the tablet or you can remove them the same way phone i have removed one scorecard and just keep the uh, all these interactive tools here in the top of the major view and then next major view and then next to the views that we would like to have here got it so the same view you can see here in the second dashboard also and these are backward and forward buttons and here i would like to keep here the major view and then the next two views and then interact to things here and the third one i'm supporting here major view and leave the all this right side column part to the filters and then here another view so majorly we will we'll, we are we're gonna having two views that's it and right side we're gonna have give more interactive uh, tools like a filters legend shape other interactive tools so these are the three templates i would recommend you guys to go ahead and yeah definitely i will show you that how we're gonna create this how we're gonna use the layout containers to create this beautiful templates or the dashboards that anyways i will explain you and another important thing that i would like to tell you if you want to create this kind of uh, navigation you need not worry about you need not to create it from scratch to end here i have just created one empty db under this db uh, images db so i have actually created all this stuff you just need to right click here and copy it and paste it in your new dashboard or you just right click you can copy all of these dashboards and you can copy them in a dashboard where you want to create this navigation got it so even if you want to add more images you can add more images under this db and you can just copy and paste this db wherever whenever you want it that is the facility we have here in this template and uh, I'm giving this uh, a template to you guys you can download them and now in the next session I'm going to show you uh, how we're gonna create how we're gonna use layouts layout containers to create a beautiful base so it's gonna be uh, around a five to ten minutes video I'll show you that so that you will understand how I actually created this template thanks for watching it